Today I'm going to prune this uh, standard uh, PG hydrangea. Uh, before you guys decide to prune your hydrangea, you need to know what kind of hydrangea do you have. There is a hydrangea that you don't need to prune at all other than just taking the dead uh, stems or branches that it has. But for this, this is a panicle hydrangea. And as you can see, they are already leafing out. So the rule is, they said is one third of it you need to cut. But to me, you can cut it all the way, like not all the way down, but like say if one third would you cut here. I don't want to do that. I want a growth in here. They would grow. So I'm just going to cut it this way. So, and I want to remove all the trees, like very small stems, so the energy will just, uh, uh, how do you call it, concentrate of uh, having a good, uh, a good uh, massive blooms instead of just giving energy to these little twigs that is around that it doesn't really need not gonna have a nice bloom at all so i'm just removing all the small little twigs and it's easier and anything that like like uh, crossing remove that so i'm just gonna remove from that side and it's not crossing anymore so it's very easy i want it like a compact not like really big in here because this is next to my messy gazebo again and uh, yeah just removing some dead st stems and small stems i want it really really like nice compact possible so this is like a two-year-old i bought this hydrin standard hydrangea like uh two years ago like like the end of the season they just wanna like 70% off so I bought it like very very cheap so this is new so I don't wanna like too big but yeah very easy it's very important that you know you identified your what kind of hydrangea do you have and this is a penny called PG hydrangea standard so yeah, very easy guys. Let's move on to a different task around my yard. Looks pretty good. It's gonna be like mounded when it start to leaf out and bloom. A few moments later. This guy is going to go outside for an hour for an hour at least. It's for hardening off. Okay, these are like my best, sorry, blocking seedlings. This is a status mix. So yeah, I've been doing this for like a couple of days now for like an hour. So they don't get shocked. And this is Marigold, guys. Uh, this seed that I saved from last year from my garden. So they're doing really awesome. Look at that. Looks really healthy. So this one is like getting burned out inside i think i put it so close to my grow lights and i think they're gonna <laughs> crispier in there but so i moved it so anyway yeah they're gonna stay here and this is ready to be they're they're like been a month in here so i think they're ready to be planted or just i don't know soaked lazy so anyway this is gonna be here for an hour so hardening off my seedlings the next day Hardening off my seedlings. Uh, look at them, guys. Please do not start your seeds indoors. <laughs> because this is what you're gonna do. Before you plant them directly in your garden, you need to harden them off. It's a lot of work. <laughs> look at those. And more in here. The tomatoes, marigold, parsley, lots in here, guys. 
I finally repotted my tomatoes, my dwarf, my red big tomatoes and uh, my grape tomatoes. So yeah, I think this one is ready, the status, more grasses, uh, more in there, <laughs> my grapes tomatoes. Oh yeah, guys, it's crazy. Just go to the store and buy your seedlings. <laughs> anyway, it's fun though. But anyway, it's a lot of work. Like bring inside, go outside, bring inside. So yeah, hardening off my seedlings. <laughs>